You know, the Bible says, and you've heard me teach this, your Tiz and I teach this many times, is there not an appointed time? Yes. And that word appointed means, is the word in Hebrew, moedim. Yep. That means on, tis on God's calendar, right. he has these appointments yeah. that he keeps us aware of yeah. because he doesn't want to get something from us. Right. He's trying to get us to move yeah. into the blessing of God. Absolutely. And so when the, the Bible says, I'll open the window of heaven, right. I think a lot of people think, well, the window of heaven is just open all right. the time. And whenever we finally obey God, right, he right. opens that window and pours out a blessing. Yeah. The window, <laughs> if I can use my book, the window is passing over us yeah. for a certain period of time. And if we miss it next year, we'll have another yeah. Shavuot. Yeah. We'll have another Pentecost, but it'll never be at the ending of Jerusalem's right. Jubilee, right. Jerusalem's right. Pentecost. Yeah. It'll never be in the birthing of Israel's 70 year anniversary. This is an amazing Amen. This is the mother of all appointed times. Yeah. And we don't have to guess at it, yeah. like you yeah. said. It's there right yeah. in God's word. You know, and I love that so much because so much of our Christian life or our believer life can be really vague. You know, yeah. it's like, yeah. how do I get blessed? When do I give? How does this work? You know, and this is so clear seasons and appointed times. And, you know, I love that in Mark 4, it talks about if you understand seed time and harvest, you will That's understand yeah. every secret of the kingdom of God. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we've lived in places like Oregon where, you know, there are harvests that come, whether they're, whether they're growing wheat, whether they're growing vineyards, whatever it is up there, uh, orchards, yeah. but there are seasons. Exactly. You're not going to run out and throw seed down in the middle of winter and think you're going to grow something, yeah. but there's a time to plant and a time to harvest. It is a rhythm of life that just orchestrates and assures the harvest in the due season. Exactly. I love that. And, 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 and this is why we love teaching you the Jewish roots of the Bible is because if we don't read the Bible in, in the Hebrew understanding right. of a Jewish Moses, a Jewish Jesus, a Jewish Paul, yeah. we're guessing exactly. at what he's saying. You yeah. know, is there, there's a time to sow and a time to reap. Well, that sounds wonderful, yeah. but that time to sow and the time to reap is three times a year yeah. you come before the Lord and you don't come empty handed. Those are the Moedims yes. of God. And then multiply that with Israel's 70 year Amen. anniversary and multiply that with the timing of God. Yeah. You know, anti-Semitism they're saying is higher yeah. right now right. than it was when Nazi Germany yep. was ruling Europe. That's a fact. And so we cannot wait. Mm. You know, this window will close. Yeah. Next year it'll come again. But for that little grandmother that was killed, we can't wait to save people's lives. Amen. And I want to say it again. I've got it in my, on my wall in my office. God says, when you save one life, right. I see it as if you saved the whole world. Yeah. Now, yeah. I, I, something I didn't get into the Hebrew words that I wanted to get into. The word give, we've all heard the teaching, give and it shall be given unto you. Right. The word it, give in Hebrew is the word natan. Right. Now, in English letters, it's N-A-T-A-N. Mm -hmm. Now, in Hebrew, there's no vowels, but even if you left the vowels in there, yeah. when you take that word, it's called a, what, a palindrome? A palindrome? Palindrome, yeah. And when you take that word and flip it around, right. it's the same word. Right. And that's a tremendous ancient Jewish wisdom revelation yes. is God is saying, when you give, I give Love that. back to you. Wow. And it's not a gimmick. It's, oh, it's, no. it's a tremendous revelation. Now, listen to this. God says, and I'm going to get more into this tomorrow. God says, I give you power. Yes in your hands yes. to gain wealth. Yep. Now they forgot that. That's why they went into Babylonian captivity. God said, if you forget, it's me. Yeah. 
So I want you to pay your tithe. Right. And I want you to give your three times a year yeah. an offering. Mm -hmm. America needs to hear this. Yes. God says, I give you power. That word power is the anointing. It's yeah. supernatural power. Yep. In Hebrew, it's the word yod. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the word in your hand, the Hebrew word for hand is yad. So God says, I give you in your yad, hmm. my yod, hmm. my supernatural anointing wow. to gain wealth. That's awesome. Now watch this. The word yad and yod are the same word. Take the vowels out because in ancient Hebrew, there's no vowel. If you take the word hand, yod, or yod, and it's open, mm -hmm. it means that you are willing to give yep. and receive. Amen. Flip the YD, Yad, YD, flip it around, DY, and it's a closed hand, and Whoa. that Hebrew word is enough. Wow. When you say give and wow. it shall be given, that's why God says awesome. three times a year yeah. you come and I will give you the anointing in your hand Amen. to gain wealth. Yes. But if you close your hand at this time, wow. you are saying to God, I've had Enough. Enough. Now I'm going to take you even deeper tomorrow <laughs> awesome. in the Hebrew understanding. But this is why we're taking, even yes. before you send it, yes. we're taking what you put in our hands and we are taking yeah. a first fruit offering to the nation yes. of Israel, to Jerusalem Amen. during the 70 year Amen. anniversary. Now Tiz and I want to pray and put our hand yes. in your hand. We'll be right back. You know, Tiz and I, before we pray for you, we want to just say how much we sincerely yes. appreciate yes. you partnering with us yes. because I know you hear, hear this, but <laughs> there is no way mm -mm. that we could do what God has called us Absolutely. to do. And I mean no. us, when I say us, us, yep. in the children in Israel, nope. in the Holocaust survivors, in the hospital, in the bomb shelters yep. we're building for the children, and now yes. with the Aliyah, we we cannot thank you enough. It's only next week, of you. I'm, ne tomorrow, I'm going to teach on your hand in our hand and God's hand. It's an amazing Hebrew revelation. But mm -hmm. not only are we thanking you for your offering, even before you send yes. it, but I want to thank you for praying for us because God's laid on our heart to bring yeah. 700, 700 Jewish people to the land of Israel. That's over a half a million dollars. We can't do it without you. So pray for us, yeah. will you? Pray yep. because I believe God is gonna do exceedingly yep. abundantly. I believe we're gonna be able to do more than that with your help and his help. And can I just giving. say, as you pray for us, we are in covenant with you and we pray for you every day every and day. cover you every with the day. promises and blessings of God. In fact, I'll show that in the Hebrew word of love, friend, and obligation. Right, right. I'll show you that tomorrow. <laughs> We're almost out of time. Father, Amen. we release the blessing mm -hmm. on yes, your people. Lord. And according to yes. your scripture in Ezekiel 44, yes, on not only those who are giving, mm. but on their household yes, in Lord. every area mm. in Jesus' name. Right Amen. now, I'm in Israel praying <laughs> for you. I'm Larry. I'm Tiz. We love you guys. Love we'll you. see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.